Hey y'all, this week we learn about Marie Joseph Angelique. Marie was born in Portugal around 1705. She was fearless, daring, brave, and determined to stay alive. From her teens into her 20s, again and again she was sold. Each time she got a new captor, she grew more impatient and bold. She ended up in Montreal. Nine years she was enslaved, but she was fiery and stubborn and started to misbehave. They say before it happened, Angelique had made it clear that no matter what she had to do, her freedom was drawing near. Then the fire started, destroying all it came across. It burned down to the merchant's corner, bringing great chaos and loss. Surrounded by a cloud of smoke, Angelique made her break. With violence, she was taken, and with violence, she'd escape. We don't know how it, how it started, if the fire was man-made, but Marie was charged with arson for resistance she displayed. And so Marie Joseph Angelique, whose captors had given her name, would go down in history as the woman who lit the flame. Y'all, Marie Joseph Angelique was an enslaved black woman in Montreal. In 1734, she was charged with arson after a fire leveled Montreal's merchant's quarter. It was alleged that Angelique committed the act while attempting to flee her bondage. She said, forget this, I'm burning the whole thing down if y'all won't give me my freedom. She was convicted, tortured, and hanged. And while it remains unknown, whether or not she set the fire, the burning of Montreal, as well as the arrest and subsequent trial of Angelique reveals much about the nature of enslavement in Canada, which was a legal institution that existed for over 200 years in Canada. It is possible that Angelique did not set the fire, but she made an ideal scapegoat for the crime. Well, let's face it, she was black, enslaved, poor, and a foreigner, and so in every aspect was a social outcast. Also, as a slave, Angelique had no rights that New France or white society would respect. But also, on the other hand, Angelique may have set the fire. She had many grievances against white society in Montreal. Whites had enslaved her, stripped her of her freedom and human rights, and taken her from a homeland that she clearly loved. In Montreal, she had attempted at least once to escape from enslavement, but was thwarted. Arson had played a role in that earlier escape. Centuries later, Marie Joseph Angelique has become a symbol of black resistance and freedom. That's our unsung hero of the week, Marie Joseph Angelique.